Okay, so what I did for the next uh, lamp bulb, I took an, uh, something that is called FSL 17 watt. I have disassembled it. I took from inside this power board. I have left the two wires that I will use them. I will also use this connection for my 5 volt now. I've taken out all the LEDs and I've cut lines between the PCB in order to disconnect between the LEDs. Now I have found that I need to scratch here the tiny contacts in order to connect now my wires. And if you will see, I've started with a knife and then I've moved to Dremel, which gives me much better result for doing the cutout and the contact point for the connection. I'm using uh, this uh, Dremel with uh, something looks like a stone. I will demonstrate. Now I will take it and if you will see, I'm touching gently I'm using the Dremel uh, gently in order not to ruin the PCB. Now, after doing it, I've prepared 9 volt with a limit current for uh, 10 milliamps to test that all LEDs are uh, okay now. Okay, now before doing all the connection, I've gone over all the LEDs in order to see that I've cut everything in the correct manner because if it is not cut it of, of course will not light because there is will be a short between them next is now to connect them all together and to test everything after connecting the DC to DC 5 volts to 9 volts that I need for these LEDs so I will show what are the next steps in a few moments Okay, so after doing all the PCB scratching for contacts, now I will take this wire and remove the plastic so I can get to the copper and then I will solder all the parts one by one. Now basically this is pretty easy since they are all connected in serial Way. so this is connected to this one and this one to this one so it needs a way if it is positive or negative so it will be positive and negative so this will be also positive and this will be negative and this will be positive so I need to connect between this one and this one and this one and to complete all the circle and then to do the same thing on the upper side but if this was done on the anoda so this would be done on the katoda and then everything will be connected in one direction so i will show you how i am starting it and then i will continue to complete it so we will take the plastic from the wire so I will get to the copper that I can solder okay so I will use now this copper wire and now I will solder between all the joints that a 
explain. So let's start to see how it is done. So first make sure to clean your iron soldering and then we will start from this point so this need to be connected to this one and this will be connected to this one okay so if everything is in the correct way and no mistake done so now I'm going over all the joints that I need to connect between them this will be connected to this one if you can see the, this one the contact are not uh, are not good enough so I will use again the Dremel in order to make a better connection to do it one by one going over all the joints all the PCB contact very important from time to time to clean the head of the iron, soldering iron. Now I think this will be perfect. So now I will try to go over all the joint. By the way, the wire is will be bent a little bit up in order not to short the parts that are not relevant so I will bend it a little between the joints as much as I can complicated but you need to do it only once and then you're good to go This is not well soldered, so I'm doing it again. Now, I by mistakes expose the other in here, so I need to make sure it is not shorted. Okay. 
but of course after completed completing the first part I will do a test the test by the way is very simple I will show you maybe now the test the test is I don't remember which one is the anoda and which is the katoda yes. if I'm connected to one so now up this was a short so I have one short here so I will fix the short another short so we'll fix it now and then we test So before moving to the next step, it's essential to go over all the LEDs and to see that the short have been fixed. Okay, so I have moved over all the LEDs one by one and make sure that each one is not shorted in this way but you need to go over all of them because if you missed one then you are not good okay so let's now connect the other pet which mean if on this side I've connected all these so on the upper side I will connect it all these together in order to complete connecting all the LEDs, each one of them in parallel to each other. This will be the next step. Let's see how it looks when everything is done. Everything is connected now in parallel. I will put a low current. So you can see that all the LEDs are lighting. Now I will power with more current. One amp. And you can see that it is lighting a lot. Okay, so now we will put everything back in the case with a DC to DC converter to 5 volts okay so now near the last step here I have a DC to DC step up from 5 volt and it is connected now to the PCB and now I'm going to assemble everything back connect it all together and put this converter inside the lamp Hopefully everything will be ready soon. Now put Captain tape to isolate the circuit and close everything inside as it was. We try not to touch all the metal spot that can cause of course a short when assembling everything back so try to do it easily and gently to use some force or maybe I will just glue it with hot glue and that's all so last test now everything is assembled back I found a housing for the lamp 
I've also found a USB cable and now we will try to connect it to this Ankyo power bank hopefully everything will work Let's zoom out, in, out a little so this is a, a good cable, a, a good USB cable I mean good because uh, the wire is uh, wide so it can handle a count of 2 amp for sure I have no idea from where I, I have this I've cut it and save it now let's do the test connecting to the power bank voila and everything is working 17 watt lamp with 5 volt power bank that can light all your room easily thank you and bye